black-eyed bastard knew that when my blade stilled the Empress's heart and delivered her daughter to the Lord Regent's men, everything would fall to pieces. He watched me do it anyway. And now the world's gone mad. Plague grinds the city down. Corruption rots. A mad killer roams the streets by night, seeking revenge. The overseers have stormed my hideout in the flooded district. And I'm in a strange duel with a mad witch named Delilah for the fate of the Empire. I'd say I was being punished, but I know that the world doesn't punish wicked people. We make our choices and take what comes. And the rest is void. I can't say I wasn't warned. It's been months since I killed the Empress, but it feels like only seconds ago I heard her yelling for her daughter, Emily. Corval's face going slack with shock, and somewhere in my head the outsiders laugh. Come to collect on our debt. Did you ever think you deserved to lose your empress? That a better man took her life while you gaped like a fool? Come on, Corvo. Prove me wrong. has returned with the information you requested. He's waiting for you below. I found Lizzie Stride. Getting her to lend us her boat will be a bit complicated, however. She's in Coldridge. From what I hear, they've got enough on her to hold her for about a thousand years. Excellent. Lizzie has enemies inside Coldridge. If we play this right, she'll be begging to do business with us. Ready to leave, sir? Or should I wait? Delilah doesn't leave Brigmore Manor anymore. She doesn't have to. Which means I have to come to her. The manor's upriver, far out past the quarantine line. I'll need a ship. I've lived in Dunwall's underworld a long time. I know the players, gang leaders, madams, corrupt officials. But what I need 
is a smuggler who knows the river, someone I can trust. It's a reflection of Dunwall, or perhaps myself, that after all these years, the best choice I have is Lizzie Stride. And Lizzie Stride is in jail. We sent for you hours ago. There was a problem with the water lock. Fine. Listen up. The incident took place in the interrogation room. Cross the yard and keep going straight. Anything else is off limits. Understand? Don't go exploring. Don't speak to the prisoners. We're not here to listen to you preach. Don't forget you're in Coldridge now, not the Abbey. We asked you here for one reason. I'll be gone before you know it. Guard! Open the gate! This mask won't fool with our pylon. What's wrong with me? We're sending three men to the firing squad, and no one knows what actually happened. Right through there. You can't miss it. None of the guards that went into question. I'll be careful. <clears throat> what happened here? Is she still Didn't write. Good. So I have to remember a number and walk all the way back here, just to unlock a cell? Because they paid off a guard? It makes sense to the Lord Regent's office. They should just pay the guards more. Section is in quarantine. They just kept getting sick, so we moved them out. It must be the rats, or the water, or the air. We moved them all into A section. Does anyone see the problem with this?
making rounds over here? <coughs> We've been moving people around to make room for the politicals. This never happened under the Empress. Someone will hear you. And it wasn't easy with the Empress around. She'd hold inspections with the Royal Protector trailing after her. I wish we'd taken care of him. He knows our faces. He could come back any time. favor. What kind of favor? Doesn't matter. You'll be dead in another day here. What kind? It's just a boat trip. Up river. Past the blockades. Then you're out of luck. My boat, the Undine, now it belongs to someone else. My second in command double crossed me and took it. A little shit named Edgar Wakefield. It's a situation I'm familiar with. Can you walk? Get me out of this damn thing and I'll fly. I can pay you to get rid of Wakefield. It'll be my pleasure. Come on. I'll just get my tiara. Dal. I think I... Oh. I have to carry her out. Pistols. I'm a good shot. How good? I'm better than most of the people here. It's a fact. 
If I keep take the rest one on one, it'll be bloody. The Sokolov radio interdiction device, or ARC pylon, is for use only by personnel trained in proper imprinting procedure. that her wounds get attention. It will be done. All quiet, sir. Ready to go. Let's go. Dunwall is changing fast. Six months ago, Draper's ward was where Dunwall's rich and well-born strolled and shopped and tried to be seen. The plague burned through it in days. Today, it's a battleground where two street gangs fight over the spoils. The Hatters and Lizzie's gang, the Dead Eels. Lizzie Stride was the boss until Edgar Wakefield betrayed her and took her place. And the Riverboat. It's the kind of thing that happens every day in Dunwall. I don't judge him. I've done worse myself. But I need that boat. Edgar Wakefield and I have business. used to run off a water wheel before the canal went dry. It started up again recently, and whatever the Hatters did to get it working has enraged the dead eels. They're fighting in the streets. Come and 
can't be. Or won't your mommy let you? Find me when you can walk. You owe me a proper fight. <sighs> uh. I thought I was finished. They'll never believe who saved me. The watch is looking out for Rothwild now. Bundry Rothwild? He lost control of things out of the house. Lord Regent annexed it. State property now. Seems that Rothwild has gone underground. <laughs> Wakefield's a hard man, but... He's not as fun as Lizzie. Lizzie enjoyed it more. Yeah, even Lizzie never drowned victims in a sack. Still see him squirming for air. Yeah. There's the boat. Wakefield's probably keeping himself below decks. Whatever I do to him will be a mercy compared to what Lizzie has in mind. Now at least. Just waiting to be taken. Wakefield sealed himself in the cargo hold of the Undine. Smuggling ships like this one often have a hatch underneath for dumping contraband if they get caught. Perhaps the Undine is no different. You ever get that creepy feeling of being watched? I've had that a bunch lately. Funny you ask that. I had this feeling of eyes on me. I looked up on the Picked up anything building. good? Dowd, this is the second time now. I see something, or someone, out of the corner of my eye. But when I turn, they're gone. Someone is watching us.
papers. is assuming control of the dead eels now. She's ordered them to give you safe passage. Your friend Edgar Wakefield set me up to be taken by the City Watch. And you followed him. Took his orders. But you know what? I forgive you. All of you. I'm filled with love. But the following people each owe me a finger. Logan, Douglas, Bang Bang, Ferris, Cakeface, the Bakers, and Annabelle. Shit. Two <laughs> from you, Annabelle. Have a good night. That piece of garbage, Edgar. I'm still living with his incompetence. He let the Hatters cripple the Undine. The ship seems fine to me. They took the engine coil. We're dead in the water. What is it? Can we make a new one? They don't make them anymore. Not for an engine like the Undines. We'll have to get it back. The geezer still leads the Hatter gang, right? I'll pay him a visit. It won't be that easy. There's a snag. Always is. What's this one? The Gazer's about a hundred years old by now. He's got it rigged so that if he dies, the whole place gets gassed. So they're real careful around him. Got him a nurse and everything. Maybe you can cut a deal for that engine coil. Turn on the charm. One of the Hatters gave me their door password in exchange for keeping the rest of his fingers. It's whalebone. I never got to use it on account of the gas. And being in jail. Just be ready to move when I get back. You really think the outsider ain't real? What I see Dow do then? Just because he. We'll put in warehouses all along this street. When the headers are gone, we could be rich in five years. Hit the plague lifts. And the city watch doesn't throw us all into the river. They've got bigger things to worry about. Quiet in the city. Almost like it used to be. Come across the canal? Thanks. Every man for himself. Had her pride. Fight. Draper's ward is the sweetest salvage since the plague came. You ask me? 
We should stick to the factory work. Trouts are bringing us using the textile machines to make shrouds for the plague dead. Now we know why they took the engine coil. The man who runs the Hatters is more cunning than he looks. He can flood this place with a toxic gas. In time, it'll eat through our air filters. You may have to make a deal. Who just went through here? She had Corvo Otano with her. They weren't wearing no clothes. Keep your hat on. I was just asking. Just because you're in charge of the gate, it don't mean the rest of us are idiots. Yeah? Well, since you're such a genius, it ought to be...
calculated badly. I predicted this would happen, of course. A man like Wakefield knows which way the night is for stabbing.
Von Dean is ready to travel. Our men are manning all the stations. All that's left is for you to engage the engine. The bridge is yours, Captain. Captain. Lizzie did not survive the fight. Add it to Delilah's dead. Let's go. The Brigmars were an ancient family, bankrupted a generation ago. Since then, the manor has housed two street gangs, a smuggling ring, innumerable rats, and the Brigmore witches. I'd always left them alone, but now a painter named Delilah had taken up witchcraft and formed a coven. She was trying something. A ritual. But what kind? The outsider knows. I cannot abide a mystery. Scouted, sir. They've locked the front, and I've seen evidence of snares. Also, maybe it's nothing, but I spotted several statues of the woman Delilah. I don't know what it means, but I thought it was worth mentioning. It means trouble. Anything else? They're getting in and out of the house somehow, but I haven't spotted it. Sorry, sir. Best I can do. Good enough. I'll take it from here. doing, sir. I killed a hound in the yard, and it got straight back up and went for me. I had to crush its skull to be sure.
endowed. I grow sick of this assassin. The other sisters speak of him with a tiny shudder of awe. Oh, Aaron dies. dies. Don't worry, love. The hounds will warn us. will warn us, or the statues, and then we'll descend like a murder of crows, and we'll pick his bones clean. The flooded district was run down.
my dear sisters has wandered away from here. Is exactly what I need. Yeah, if only my birth sisters had been more like you. Well, if they have, they'd still be alive.
Time to work like a summer day. I won't. Forgive me, sister. You're right. You have many talents, Dowd, and they've served you. Delilah's talents are quite different. She creates images, but she does more. She captures spirit. She insinuates her will into her subject, whatever it is. We're witnessing her masterpiece, and perhaps yours as well. I gave you Delilah's name, and you followed it to this moment. You see now what hangs in the balance. Emily's life, Delilah's ambition, an empire in the act of crumbling. In your long life, I've rarely seen you act with such consummate grace. I give my mark sparingly, and I don't play favorites. But I will watch this with unusual attention. The Void? Time to see what you've really got, Delilah. Emily Caldwin, 
Daughter of Jessamine Caldwin, heir to the Empire of the Isles, I call out to you from the void. I call you with ochre from Morley, carmine beetle shells, zirconian lazurite, viridian bile. The tones of your flesh I tempered with pandician chalk. The same loom that spun the fabric of your dresses made this canvas. I made my brushes from the hairs of your own scalp. Emily, you cannot ignore me. My power is too deep. My reach too long. No one will ever know exactly what it took to save Emily Caldwin from a living death as Delilah's puppet. No one except the outsider, who watches everything and thinks his own dark thoughts and speaks to few in any generation. I've learned that our choices always matter. To someone. Somewhere. And sooner or later, in ways we can't always fathom, the consequences come back to us. I came from Circonos to Dunwall as a boy, made my living as a killer, one of the few who've heard the outsider's voice. I murdered an empress, 
but saved her daughter, who will one day rule the Empire. Those were my choices. I'm ready for what comes. For a man with innocent blood on his hands. It's a shame Corvo doesn't know the real story, isn't it? How in these last days you passed through Coldridge Prison like a shadow, dared the tangles of Dunwall's underworld, and walked out unscathed, outwitted one of the greatest witches in a generation, all with consummate care and skill. How you saved Emily Caldwin, daughter of the Empress, first of her name, and no one will ever know. But how does it end for Dowd, the hired killer, the murderer, the savior of the Empire? It's up to Corvo now.